welcome back to my channel. Um, please excuse my mess as I prepare for moving. <laughs> um, and today we are opening a full sickle from Reese Harps, um, the Harpsicle guys. <laughs> I am super, super excited about this. Um, this is a special order. Um, I saw a blue um, Harpsicle that was made with curly maple a while ago and I just fell completely in love with it. <laughs> Um, so I asked Melissa over there if she could get me one, and um, they've been working on it for about two months, and now I get to open it. <laughs> so, here we go. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Such a giant box. Something really satisfying about opening up a giant, giant box. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I have my scissors. packet. Okay, here we go. Um, this is all the, I got info about my harp, and I got to pick up in it, so there's the info about that, and then handy dandy little tuner. Awesome. <laughs> I guess it's not foam, it's a, like a super stiff bubble wrap. It's amazing. It's like absolutely the perfect packing material. Okay. Here we go. Cut this tape. not the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I love blue. It's my absolute favorite color. And this is just, oh my goodness. I'm going to have to do a video with this out in the sun um, because I guarantee you once it gets into the sunshine, these like little curly lines are just going to explode with color and beauty and ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. I'm just so happy. <laughs> and of course, it's not in tune at all. Um, and I am probably, unfortunately, going to have to pack this back up because um, I'm just not going to have time to do a due diligence this weekend because we are moving. <laughs> um, so I will be back in a little bit. Okay, so here I am back to tell you about this full sickle. Um, and obviously I moved a little while ago, so that video is a little bit old. Um, I ordered the full sickle in March and it made it to me in May and uh, I am just now finishing off this video. <laughs> it seems like there's always um, so much to do and so much to talk about that I just had not gotten around to this until now. Uh, but I'm really excited to share this with you because it's such a beautiful instrument. I can't even. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put up a picture of how gorgeous this is because you, I can't even show you in this light how beautiful, beautiful, beautiful the curly maple wood is. It's just unbelievably gorgeous. <laughs> um, so to tell you a little bit about this harp, um, it ended up costing me a little bit less than $1,300. Um, which is about the price of the special edition full sickle um, <clears throat> because it is technically um, just a regular full sickle so it has all of the Reese levers on it um, but I 
upped a lot of things, um, like upgraded <laughs> a few things on it. Um, so it is basically a special edition full sickle now. Um, first of all, the curly maple wood. Um, that was an upcharge on there. And I also added the um, four wound bass strings, um, which I think make quite a bit of difference to the tension and the sound. Um, I'm gonna do another video because I have a uh, flat sickle as well. So I will do a video comparing um, the unwound bass versus the wound bass because it does make quite a bit of difference. <laughs> and the other special thing that I got was um, I had Rees Harps install a pickup um, and you can see the jack there on the bottom of the harp. Um, so you can plug this harp in uh, and do all sorts of cool electronic sounds with it. Um, and I'm definitely going to share some clips of that because uh, it's cool. <laughs> it's probably uh, one of my absolute favorite parts about the Reese Harps. Um, so I have a pickup on my Dusty Strings Ravenna 34, um, which is fun, but because the harp is designed um, to be an acoustic harp, like it's designed to be heard, <laughs> Um, with the Ravenna 34, it's hard to really get the full effect of the effects if you're trying to go like really effect heavy, um, which I do kind of like to do. <laughs> um, so for that, I really do like the um, electric harps. I have a grand harpsicle and I like this a lot. Um, and I've heard uh, some of the other electric harps like um, Kamak has a really cool one. <laughs> um, and I, I do think that if you're trying to go really effects heavy, that those electric harps just do sound a little bit better. Uh, just because you're not mixing in also the acoustic sound of the harp. Okay, I'm gonna play a little bit for you so you can kind of get an impression of the way that this harp sounds. So, here you go. <laughs> on there. I like to use the Afterneath Reverb pedal by Earthquaker Devices. It's amazing. <laughs>
Okay, so a couple of observations about the full sickle um, that might make a difference to you if you play a full-size harp. Um, the first thing is the string spacing is slightly narrower. Um, and while it does not take a lot of adjustment, so if I have sat and played on it for say an hour or so, um, I do kind of get the hang of it and it's fine. Um, but it definitely messes with my muscle memory. <laughs> um, like you could hear on that song that I'm playing, um, I'm reaching for a fifth um, and in my brain what would be a fifth, um, but it just doesn't quite land exactly right on the harpsicle. Um, so that is something to keep in mind if you do play a full-size harp. However, if you are looking for a first harp, um, I really think the harpsicle is a great way to go. It's not super expensive, it's very portable, and it's really durable. <laughs> um, not this one because it's absolutely gorgeous, but my flat sickle <laughs> has, uh, has endured a little bit of, uh, not abuse, but you know, kids. <laughs> it has endured some kids um, over the uh, few years. So they're very sturdy, which is really a great plus um, for a harp. <laughs> the one other thing that I am not particularly fond of is the fact that the jack for the pickup is on the bottom of the harp. Um, to me, <laughs> that's very inconvenient. Just because um, when I am playing with a lap harp, often I will use a stool to kind of prop it up. Um, and I know that Harpsicle Harps makes their own harp stand, um, which wouldn't interfere at all with the um, plugging in the pickup. However, I just don't particularly like the way that it looks. <laughs> it's like it's like a drum stand, um, which is fine. I just am picky, <laughs> basically. <laughs> it's not my most favorite. Um, and you can certainly wear the harp with a strap, but uh, I just really like stools. That's just how I prefer to play a lap part, um, and it makes it difficult when the jack is on the bottom. <laughs> it's basically what it comes down to there. Overall, I think if you are looking for a small harp that is portable and not very expensive, it is hard to go wrong with a harpsicle. Um, I do think they're absolutely great harps. Um, they're just a little bit more expensive than the Pakistani harps, but I just can't recommend a Pakistani harp to anybody. <laughs> I just don't think that they are ultimately super good quality, unfortunately. Um, and if you're looking for something that's not as portable and maybe a little bit more expensive, then you can start looking at Dusty Strings. Um, they have a 26 string harp that's beautiful. <laughs> um, and that might be worth the upgrade to you. But if you want something portable and sturdy and uh, you're not gonna be super upset <laughs> um, if it uh, gets a little ding or something. I think the harpsicle is the way to go. I just really love them. <laughs> All right, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them down in the comments and I will definitely get back to you. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day. Thank you all so much for watching. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and click on that subscription button right up there. Otherwise, if you would like to join my Patreon or buy me a coffee, the links to those are down in the description. <laughs> I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day.